Hi, my name is Paul at TrackMaps and this is a tutorial to create a route in Garmin Basecamp. So what is a route? A route is a way of saying I want to go from point A to point B and then transfer that into my GPS and then load it up when I'm actually outside and ready to do that route. So the first step is to open up Garmin Basecamp. If you don't already have it, you can download it free from Garmin's website. I'll put a link in the description below so you can get your hands on it. Step two is um, when you're actually ready to create a route, the route creation tool is here at the top left. So you'll see it's represented by uh, this icon with uh, three green squares. So click on that. Sometimes you'll get a little dialog box that will uh, pop up, so you can close that if that happens to be the case. So once we're ready to create the route, we want to, let's say we want to choose this area here as the beginning. Just simply click on that area and then choose an area you want to go see, like here let's say, and you'll see the pink route uh, that will be created. So you've just created that route from the beginning to the end and you can continue it on as far as you want. And then when you're ready to finalize the route, simply press on the escape button on your keyboard. So you'll see that we're no longer uh, creating or adding on to the route and we'll see it here on the left hand panel. So it, it chose the name uh, sort of at random. It's really the, the features on which you created it on. Uh, if we want to change the name of this route, we can just right click on it, rename, and then choose, I'll call it my route. And now what we can do with it is we can transfer it to our GPS so to the internal memory or if you have a micro SD card that you want to transfer it to you can do that as well. So we'll right click on my route we'll go to send to and so make sure your GPS is connected or your micro SD card is uh, plugged in. Uh, once it is you'll see it here in the uh, available options so I'll click on user data under GPS and this may be called your GPS model. For example, uh, it might say Garmin Montana 600 or something along those lines. So once we've chosen it, click on OK. And you'll see in the left hand panel, uh, there's now a green checkbox. That means that it's successfully transferred it to your, uh, your device. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, make sure to check out our other videos such as creating a waypoint, um, also uh, using uh, routes on your GPS. Have a great day!